Did you know that the Antarctica we know now was once a warm rainforest? Covered with lush green trees and rivers, this ancient land was once densely populated with wildlife. From prehistoric reptiles to early dinosaurs, Antarctica was a bustling hope of biodiversity. But how did this transformation happen? How did Antarctica evolve from a lush green paradise to the icy frozen wasteland we see today? And how did the wildlife evolve and managed to survive the extreme change in temperatures? Find out on our channel, The Curious Corner. Our story begins around 90 million years ago, when Antarctica was part of a supercontinent called Gunwana. Back then, the continents were not divided but were assembled together to form a single large landmass. It was located in the southern hemisphere, closer to the equator than it is today, surrounded by what is now Africa, South America, India and Australia. The climate in Antarctica was much milder and hot, just like the other places near it. The Earth's outer layer is like a giant jigsaw puzzle, made up of huge pieces called tectonic plates. Gondwana was basically a massive landmass, made up of several of these tectonic plates stuck together. The lithosphere is the rigid outer layer of the Earth. It is divided into several large and small pieces of tectonic plates. These plates float on a harder and more fluid layer, called the asthenosphere, which is located below the lithosphere. The tectonic plates in the lithosphere are always slowly moving. This movement is driven by forces in the Earth's interior like heat and pressure. Over time, the pressure from inside the Earth created cracks in Gondwana. As these cracks opened up, new material from inside the Earth started to come up between the cracks. This created new oceans and made the continents move away from each other. As Gondwana began to break apart, Antarctica drifted southward, away from the equator. As Antarctica drifted farther from the equator and moved towards the South Pole, its climate changed significantly. The continent started to experience cooler temperatures and the development of ice sheets began. It went from being part of a warm temperate region to becoming the cold icy continent. All the lush green rainforests of the Arctic began to shrink and started to freeze. By the time ice sheets formed, only a few species of plants managed to adapt the colder environment, and the rest went extinct. Many of the original wildlife of the rainforest could not adapt to the changing conditions, and also went extinct. While some species managed to migrate to warmer regions to survive, the remaining wildlife had to develop traits that could help them survive in a colder and harsher environment. This included evolving thicker fur or feathers for insulation. Flying seabirds were evolved into flightless swimmers, and land mammals either started living in the sea or transitioned to skilled swimmers. As temperatures continued to drop further, thick layers of ice sheets formed, burying any remaining plant material under thick layers of snow. Millions of years later, when scientists started doing research on the Antarctic and started doing the ice cores drilled from the Antarctic ice sheet 
provided the information about past atmospheric conditions. The fossils of ancient plants and rocks were also found, suggesting that the region was once a tropical rainforest. But the most fascinating fact is that the rainforests didn't actually just disappear with the temperature change. They are still buried 4 to 5 kilometers deep beneath the ice, and all the ancient geological formations are preserved under the surface. However, the ice sheet in Antarctica is extremely thick. Digging through this immense layer is currently impossible for humans, and attempting to do so could disrupt the delicate balance of the ice sheet and the subglacial environment. So instead of physical excavation, scientists are using indirect methods to study the ancient rainforests. Although we may not be able to physically explore these buried rainforests anytime soon, the insights they provide help us better understand Earth's climate history and how it has changed over millions of years and what it could mean for our future. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel, The Curious Corner.